Right, so I managed to do a run, have a shower, have a shave, and on my way to do an experiment. So, a little lesson of hospitality. Out for a run, and nearby is a really nice gym. So, I went there, quarter to nine, and I was told, sir, sir, we are not going to hop in until nine. I said, okay, I'll come back at nine. I went for a little run, I came back, and I asked for a short run of the gym. And I was told off because this was a different person, by the way. Apparently, maybe the manager. And I got told off because it was two minutes to nine. So take a seat there, sir, I was told. So I sat there in the corner and waited for about 15 minutes whilst she was gossiping away with members that she obviously knew. And she all this time, she had this young lady I must have been shadowing her up something, but she was doing nothing at all. And there were two more receptionists just sitting there idle. So what I'm going to do, since it's Saturday and I've got nothing better to do, I think a few hundreds of emails waiting to be answered, I'm going to go have a shower, wear a suit and come back and see what happens. And if it is what I think it is, then I'm going to be telling you all about it. Okay, reflection time. Uh, so here's what's just happened. I uh, walked through the doors, same receptionist, still as busy as it was at 9 or 10 past 9, but this time suited and booted. I was told, no problem sir, we don't have anybody to show you, but you can walk straight through. They pointed me to where the swimming pool was and where the different places was. and. Um, off I was. No problem at all. So you tell me, was it uh, racial profiling? Was it uh, unconscious bias? Was it this guy doesn't have enough money to pay us profiling? What was it? I don't know. But it wasn't the perfect experiment. Um, if I went back next Saturday, two minutes before nine, uh, suited and booted, that would have been the perfect experiment. But I'm pretty certain it was some kind of profiling and uh, I'm pretty certain I was made to wait to be shown that this is not the place for me. So, no hospitality spirit there. The spirit of hospitality is about being all-inclusive and embracing everyone and never make assumptions, okay? Now, to be fair, the place inside was amazing, okay? And for my good luck, as I was at the certain floor, I see uh, one of the instructors sitting by his office and I asked him one question and this guy was amazing, took me around, showed me everything, he was passionate about his, his job and he had a real good spirit of hospitality and I'm pretty certain if I was in my gym clothes, I think he would have shown me the exact same treatment. Okay. But what is the lesson for us, the lesson is a very simple one. The world will continue for many years to be what it is. You know, racial profiling will exist, all kind of unconscious bias will exist. But here is the example that you were your brand. You know who you are, but the others don't. So you need you know, if you're going to go for that job interview, if you want to convince a supplier to give you better prices, if you're going to negotiate with anybody, you need to make sure that you've decided what your brand is because you cannot rely on others to think and have the same open mind and hospitality spirit that you have. The other lesson is that hospitality exists everywhere, even in a gym. Okay, you don't expect to see hospitality or fine hospitality only in a restaurant, only in a hotel. Hospitality is a way of life. Hospitality is a way of thinking. In this case, in the beginning, we did not find true hospitality, but later on, 
with the gym instructor, we did. So, hope dies last. Look after yourself and remember to always look after your brand, who you are, when you want to achieve things. No matter how small, no matter how big. Goodbye.